in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Ah, screw it. In the start. Lucas created the terrain. And then Lucas said, let there be light. And so there was no light. And he was sad and depressing, just like his life. Now, now hold on. My life is not that bad. I mean, just look at this epic bottle flip I can do. Just kidding. My life is all lost and hopeless. Anyways, let's fix these lights. Let's start out with the ambient occlusion, which is not this, it is this. If you look at any corner in your room right now, I can say with 100%, no, 50%, nah, 10% certainty that you can see some shadows in the corner. That is basically what ambient occlusion is. And this is how we will implement it. We will take the corner of a block and then we will check each surrounding block if it's a solid or air. If it's a solid block, we'll add shadow to the corner. If it's not, then we will don't. This will give the illusion of shadows at the corners. So it's not direct light, but it's, it's shadows, which is the absence of light. Yeah. Yeah, smart. So this should not be that hard, right? Yeah. Now at first sight, this doesn't look too bad, but if you jam some orange in there, you can clearly see that this colored corner is over here, when it should obviously be over there. So what we can do is a bit of a flippity floppity and ba-boom. First corner is correct. Now we can do the same for the other corners and boom, there it is. This is great and all, but if you look at the side, Ew. Yeah, let's add ambient occlusion to the sides too. Aight, 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 aight. Are you ready? Here it is. Ambient occlusion. Wow. Here's the before and after. Pretty cool, eh? All right. Now with the ambient occlusion done, it is time to do the lights. But there's a small problem. I have no idea how to do lights. So let's call the secret voice service for some help. Just put LOL back. Just put LOL. It needs LOL. Put LOL back. Just bring LOL back. All right. That was a great call with the boys. They have enlightened me on how to do lights. Lol. And this is how we will do it. Each block will have its own light level. Then we can say that every block that has direct skylight access will be full brightness. And then those blocks will pass lights to other blocks who do not have direct skylight access. Makes sense, right? So now, observe as the light will illuminate the whole world right in front of our eyes. It, it, it is black. Where did the light go? Has it abandoned me? Just like my friend. Oh no, there it is. I just forgot to pass the light into the blocks. Whew. Got scared there for a moment. Anyways, now we got lights that works. Kind of. Those shadows down there should not be that dark. Because light should be passed to other blocks, remember? But we can debug this by instead of just passing light, we'll put stone blocks where the light should go. And so now, if we place a block down here, we should see blocks being spawned around it. Or not. But if they are not here, where are- Ah, there they are. Well, that, that's not good. Aha, I found the problem. Believe it or not, I was trying to do math. Anyways, now with that fixed, the light should fade. And it does. A bit too dramatically though. You can't see shit in here. But as much as I love not seeing the mistakes I make, I still had to fix the darkness to a minimum light level, so we can at least see something. And I don't know if you noticed, but we also got some delightful chunk border darkness going on over here. It happens because currently chunks don't know the existence of other chunks, so they automatically put dark faces at the border of the chunk. So to fix this, we will let the chunks know it got neighbors, so they can ask each other, hey, neighbor, what's up? Should we put dark or light here? And boom, problem solved. But wait, there's more. You have probably noticed that when we go inside of a chunk, we see all of these extra faces, which we should not. Now with this neighbor access, we can also ditch those useless extra faces inside of the chunk. So let's get rid of those extra faces. Top and bottom, gone. Left and right, gone. My turn, avocado cadabra, front and back. What the fuck? Boom, gone. All of the extra faces are gone. This tiny optimization increased the frames per second from 1000 to 3000 ish. Alrighty. But now with the extra faces gone, it's starting to look pretty. Forget what I was saying. It appears that we have gained the power of X-Ray, which makes finding the hidden resources that we don't have in our game way too easy to find. So let's fix this. All we need to do is when we break a block, we add the chunk itself and its neighbor to a dirty container. Then we can look inside of the dirty container and see if we got any dirty chunks that should be updated and then re build those chunks. And boom! No more Rubit Moon when we dig into a new chunk. Instead, what we got is this light that appears out of nowhere when we dig down. At this point, I started to question myself. Will I ever become a good programmer? No matter what I do, it only seems to be making things worse. I'm not fixing bugs, I'm creating them. So I did a post asking you guys if you wanted to see the fuck-ups. And well, I guess you guys want to see them, so... I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, is this at the border of a chunk? So now we should have this... What the fuck? It thinks that everything is dark. And if I break something... <gasps> okay. Oh, that this is what I just need to do and it should work. I'm pretty confident in my skill. Look at this. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ow! Oh, wow. <laughs> Since when did this happen? Ah, oh, this is so nice. Ah, uh, my- oh, that's not nice. That's not nice either. What happened? I broke it. <laughs> but how broken is it? It's very broken. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> But finally, after many days and nights and a lot of errors, we finally got the light working properly. And uh, I think we got time for a bonus, you know? And you guys wanted a player, so let's add that. First, we'll start out by creating the UI. And for that, we'll need another pipe line. Pretty sure that would have fixed it. And then I don't even need these ones. Eh? Why? Fuck, I have problem. And then, flawlessly, I have created the UI. Anyways, I changed it to a cross here, so now we can do a 360 no scope. Yeah. And of course, we also need a hotbar. And yep, yeah, if you can't tell, that's a stone block. So now we can save it, ship it, load it, and it is upside down. Huh? Fixed it. There's just a few other small inconveniences, but yeah. I would say it's a pretty solid looking UI. Let's see what you guys think. <clears throat> that stone item could have some outline so it doesn't look like a smudge. Oh, there's a stone item in the hotbar. I didn't see it. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't see it? It's right there. Nah, nah, bah. Okay, okay, I will fix it. Oh, that there. You, you, you can't complain that you can't see the stone. No, all we need is a hand. And, you know, I just got the right... Wait, no. And I just got the right hand for it. Almost perfect. Boom. I mean, boom. Look at that sexy hand with a cube. Mm. Also, you may be wondering, how can you switch between blocks? Yeah, you don't. Anyways, for our player, we also need physics, and it's pretty simple to add. All we have to do is to apply gravity, and just like that, we are speedrunning straight down to hell. Or so I thought. For a while, it seemed like I was reaching my destination, but after a while, I realized I was just falling for eternity. So I decided to implement this thing called collision, which works um <clears throat> perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> now we are two block high or actually we are one block high but you know it's it's the world from my perspective because i'm short but after getting it working i shared some progress with my friend and yeah seems like i invented some new laws of physics yeah i'm smart like that but yeah after all this we finally got a simple player working but before you go i have a secret i want to share with you i like you wait that is no secret it's right there in the description of the video ah anyways the secret is that i will start to do some assembly videos for a while but don't worry more vulcan stuff is coming i just can only focus on one thing at a time my brain is single threaded just like my minecraft clone which is something i should probably change among some other things all right leave a comment on what you think about assembly maybe what you would like to see and yeah let's make some Something cool in assembly too. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You also wanted mid mapping, so I added it too. And now the Moir, 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 uh, uh, screw it. Moira effect is gone. Bye.